My name is Javier Dez. I am an artist and my art brand is The Artist Javier. My name is Glenn Henry. I am the face and fingers behind Sprite Rain Studios, which is an independent game development studio. Hi, I'm Amanda Lazarus and I'm a photographer and a photo restoration specialist. Some time ago, I actually messaged, uh, did a broadcast message about my business and Dimitri actually saw it. And he sent me back a message asking me if I know about the incubator program and I told him no, I didn't. So after he told me about the program, I researched it and I realized just how beneficial it would be to me and it would provide me with the tools and the knowledge that I would need to push my business forward. So I decided to get involved. I was invited to a meetup, um, I think it's in 2019. I like the initiative of empowering Caribbean creators and Jamaican creators in particular, you know, to kind of carry themselves in a little bit more professional way and give them opportunities that they might lack. I find that the cultural industry in Jamaica, the culture and creative industry in Jamaica is a little bit saturated and I say that to say because it does tend to discourage people from starting and that's actually been my hurdle is to put myself out there and to just start and gain the confidence to start and try and find things and I surprised myself by finding a niche that I am very very passionate about which is a photo restoration. I think it's very hard to be taken seriously, um, like as a business, uh, mostly because people look at the arts as something that is something to do in your spare time, something to do as a hobby, and doesn't necessarily contribute in a meaningful way to, to just the culture, to everything. So that was probably that's a main hurdle, just getting people to take what you're doing seriously and showing them that there is economic value in what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. I'm, Hoping and expecting them incubated to widen my network, put me in touch with other, other creatives who are trying to do something similar and also kind of shore up any deficits that I might have in experience and knowledge and such. There are a lot of ups and downs in Jamaica's creative industry. Um, one of them is definitely having access to quality supplies and materials. Um, I think that definitely impacts the work that artists produce and it's kind of hard sometimes, you know, finding those supplies. I have just started my journey in the incubator process, but so far it's been very informative. Um, there are opportunities that Outside of it, I probably wouldn't have had or would have had to pay a lot of money to get. So I am super thankful for that. But in the next five years, I will definitely be owning my own studio space and the gallery hall. Um, my brand will definitely be more recognized locally and internationally. So with Sprite Ranch, we have like three core business um, lines, which is creating our own IP. Um, providing consultancy to other people who want to get into the space of the game industry. So we want to help out those people. And finally, we want to be able to like empower them. So publishing, um, being able to in, um, finance smaller creatives in the same way eventually. For me, uh, the incubator has, like, has allowed me to kind of work with other creatives. Um, has kind of forced me to kind of look at what I'm doing in a more structured way. It's not me just sitting in my bedroom plugging away at it. It's, okay, I need to think about how I'm presenting. I need to know how I'm talking about this in business terms and things like that. So basically, it's giving me a context to grow and I'm hoping that with that, I can really kick off something great. At the end of the day, I am like, excited and very thankful that Kingston Creative exists, like an initiative like this exists. It's kind of a watershed moment, uh, like showing everyone locally, as well as regionally, that, yo, we exist, we have impact, we have value, look at what we can do. And yeah, I'm glad to be a part of that. I expect that once I start to utilize the tools and learn a little bit more about 
what they have to offer for my business that I will become more known and I'll start to thrive and become more impactful. To be honest with you, I don't actually have any solid and measurable goals at the moment. This is where the program comes into play to help me set that. I also hope to become the person that Jamaica entrusts to bring back their memories to life, because that's my slogan. And I also want to become one of Jamaica's top boudoir photographers and most influential artists. The impact that they've had on me so far is that they've opened my eyes to just how much potential business there is for me, particularly online, for my niche. And they have provided some amazing tools for us creatives because the creative industry, we're filled with people who mostly focus on our work and less on the business side of things. So what they're doing in their program is that they're offering us a lending hand and a way for us to step up and actually learn more about business so that our business can soar to where it needs to be. The impact Kingston Creative has is a good impact. Um, creating opportunities for artists to gain experience, to work, um, to express themselves is very, very good when building confidence and confidence is very important to our creative. Kingston Creative, it's a beautiful opportunity for everyone. Um, the community, the artists, the culture, and uh, we're thankful that they're here.